right uh people like ready up and drop down immediately so we're a little late on this so i apologize we're on honeycomb 3k 4v4 team 1a and s team 2 osp we got some returners we got quiz quiz we got phil Fantic. we got dash short and uh cheetahs never win so let's do this from the bottom up quiz quiz bring in Rep the MCR Ivan, of course, as he always does, but bringing a uh, missile voxel. Oh my. Some very expensive missiles and a pair of scouts, presumably. Let me click on you. Yeah, a couple of, a couple of scouts with E War and point defense on them. Philanthic bringing a battleship. Ooh, that's a good color scheme out of that battleship. With guns, 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 and lots of flak, plus some defenders. I like it. I'm gl I'm glad to see more flak. Generally, the past few days I've been seeing people bring flak, which is cool. Elevated signature. I wonder what's going on with these guys. They're bringing. Are they bringing signature enhancers? They might be. I'm not seeing them anywhere. Balls of device, as it as it were. Just some guns, bullseye, point defense, fighting voxel team. Team three. One blanket jammer as well. Pair of bullseyes across them. Gun Axford. Small gun on the rear. Big one on the uh, top and the bottom. Top four and keel, I should say. Four gun? Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's the term to use. I'm not sure. We got a reins here. Support, point defense. Mass driver. No, this is not a reins. This is a, uh, this is a keystone. Was was just a long reins, really, when you when you get down to it, and uh, and an actual reins with a pair of sarissas and one stone wall and not much else. That is one stripped down little ship prowler, prowler plus sarissas is an interesting combination. Uh, let's get over here to the OSP team. See sixty casemates, not sixty fives. With lots of point defense, grazers. Oh boy. And a scout with an EWR and a bloodhound and a rocket launcher shuttle. It's quite a fleet. Well rounded, dangerous. One of these already getting locked. I'm not sure by what. Presumably this voxel team. Bullseyes have an unreal range. King Leet. Leet X. I don't know. 13 3 X. Leaks. Got uh, triple barrels. Nice. Those are going to shred any small ship. Well, unfortunately, there aren't really any small ships coming out of the ANS team. They'll perform pretty well against the voxels, and they'll delete these uh, these scouts out of existence. Rocket ship. Uh, just a just a scout with a gun on it. Some pinpoint. Dash short, bring in guns on both sides. And then MLS 2s on both sides. Interesting. And an Ocello with some 450s and a rail gun. That is uh, a pretty wacky setup here. I don't know what range he's going to try to fight at. Hmm. Very odd. Mine launcher with two RL-36s and a missile. How many mines are you bringing? Just a few. It's honestly, it's not worth bringing a mine launcher if you're only going to bring a handful of mines. But that's interesting. Usually when I see something like this, I see a dedicated mine ship. The fleet built around it, but it seems to just be supporting with mines. Ah, yeah. And then uh, be centered around rocket launchers. This fleet is Cheetah's number one's fleet. Oh, we got some Type 3s going out. Hybrids. Let's get the. Yeah, there we go. Gunfire coming into those voxels. Staging, a little bit of damage coming down. Whoa. 
Looks like that's all gonna get handled by Bastions. Oh, except for that one. A little bit of damage. Nothing too critical. Probably an ammo elevator. Oh, the Bora Contras. Yeah, that's actually a big problem. Assuming those are going to want to shoot anyways. I got fire going into these voxels. Looks like it's not very accurate, which is not surprising considering the angling on the voxels. But I need to jailbreak another party. Raiders! Fire coming out of voxels and into these C60 bulkers. On the other hand, is going to be quite accurate as bulkers are a little too big to miss without the most abysmal of locks or of uh, tracks. Should say rocket spam coming out. And that is not going to be enough point defense. Come on. Don't make a liar out of me. There we go. Oh, it's actually his angling. He uh, turned his point defense away from the rockets by that angling. A few got through, but uh, no meaningful damage. Now gyro's down, but that's whatever. And a little bit of a little bit of armor scraped off the nose of this thing. Yeah. Stonewall's uh Stonewalled that rocket barrage, that's for sure. Whoa, where are those going? Ah, the decoy. Absurd volume of AMMs. Pretty effective. Very effective. One more gets through. These guns are definitely doing more damage than the missiles are. Switching target to the shuttles, which I think is a waste. I'm pretty sure those shuttles are out of munitions. Yeah. But I can understand seeing that and being like, oh shit, those gotta go. Uh, the RPF gonna make extremely short work of these shuttles. One's down, another one's going down. Didn't even cap Delta before pushing in for that rocket barrage. Unfortunate. OSP still up on points and on caps. About to be even more up on caps. Although I think the ANS is gonna be able to take control of Charlie. If these voxels are brave enough to push, because this team right here just does not have the firepower to hold that. I don't think this ship has any track correlators on it. Oh, it's got two. Okay. I stand corrected. I usually don't see tugs with track correlators when they're using bloodhounds. And you really want the track correlators if you're using your bloodhound as a uh, fire radar. And obviously, you'll be using the Blood Hander as a fire radar, and there's not much else worth using it for. Some missiles coming in here to. so much for subtlety. That's a good name. Oh my. I think these are gonna get cleaned up, though. Yeah, quite, quite handedly, in fact. Mine's getting dropped around on areas that no one's ever going to go unless this turns into a really weird game. <sighs> As is the fate of mines, they can be used correctly, and I've seen them be used very effectively. But just generally speaking, people want to get them out of their holds and onto the map, and they often get put in places that they're just not going to see any use. And it, uh, ah! Ah! Don't track fire your missiles! Don't do it! 
That is my... I was talking about this in the uh, last recording I made that is not going up because it was a terrible game where we had a whole bunch of disconnects. And sat and watched a 3... A, uh, yeah, 3v1 for like 15 minutes, so that's definitely not going up. Anyways, what I was talking about is that I do that. Don't track fire your missiles, and point defense is mandatory every single recording. Every single one. It doesn't it doesn't really matter whether they go up or not. Every time I'm spectating, even when I'm not spectating. I play games and I watch people ship sometimes if I'm hanging back doing backline stuff with mass drivers or with containers. I'm just like, bro, what are you what are you doing? What are you doing? Especially the containers. You need to follow your containers in sometimes to see how to deal with things. Wow. 250 is uh, just not, really doesn't cut it against the cells, does it? 450 on the other hand. If they can hit. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can't, you can't just not bring point defense. Even though it brings me much joy to hit someone with almost no point defense with a whole bunch of containers. Uh, it also makes me very sad and kind of annoyed because it's like I didn't I didn't earn that win. That was just you making a really bad choice. It wasn't me making a good play. And it bothers me. It bothers me greatly. Good EWR coverage out of the OSP team. Real nice to see. Who's Star? Star Bomber 109. And uh, the Group of Wills and She doesn't have a one who does not have a fleet tag. He's above all that. Oh, this ship has uh, slightly exploded. Right. We saw that earlier. Did this get roasted? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, it did. Quite roasted. OSP is taking a lot of damage, but they have uh, conquered a good chunk of the map. Give them a early lead on points. Would be nice. Nice and cozy. Whole lot of hybrid threes. Now those are H2s. Still though, going into the shuttle seems like a bit of a waste. But it's, it's definitely dead. <laughs> and it was not able to get its payload off. Speaking of payloads. Here we go. Oh. Oh no. Yep. Rockets versus sprinters. Kind of hard to hit them, especially at a weird angle like that. Unfortunate waste of munitions. This cooked sprinter is such a juicy, juicy target. Those 450s are colossally wasted against this thing, especially if they have a better target on the... Yeah, they do. They do, they do have a better target on these voxels. I don't know why he's going after this. Another whoosh of missiles. I think it looked like two hit on the nose. That's not really enough to do much. 450s, of course, punching through. Those of you who don't know, if a round punches through a compartment, it does 20% of its possible damage. And on top of compartment DR, that uh, means when you get punched through, you do almost no damage, even with... 450 HE. We are contesting zone Whoa. Tagger. Huge barrage. Oh, that got baited by chaff. I'm saying whoa a lot this cast. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't usually say whoa. I usually say wow. Or ooh, look at that. Oh boy, oh boy is a common one. But whoa? Who am I? I'm an imposter. All these mines getting laid down in the... Oh, just one getting laid down, I guess. No, that, that was there for a while. So this thing's just getting in range of the mines and seeing them and blowing them up. Backing off. Stug getting annihilated by RPF. 
Are these voxels, those 450s going after? Ah, that's a target for the 450s. A roasted Axford pointing his bow towards you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that damage. Hitting him on the nose. Dealing damage in the reactor block. Whoa. Even more. See, there it is. There's that word again. Even more fire coming in out of Dashworth's rail ship. Haven't been keeping much of an eye on that thing. God, that's so much RPF. I think he's trying to do too much with his fleet. He's trying to be a front line and a support at the same time. That means he's not going to do either job very well. If he really leaned into either the front line or the support, I think that could be very effect effective fleet style. With the one Bulker and the one Ocello. But by splitting up, there's, there's more track-fired missiles going straight into that wall. Uh, the taxpayers would be very angry if they saw these recordings. Just colossal volume of wasted munitions. <laughs> Couple mines getting triggered. But, yeah, not going to be able to land anything. Remember this, they're never going to make it to Bravo unless this game is very weird. Well, it looks like they're making it to Bravo. Oh, uh, this game has been very weird with... This team capped Charlie? All oh, right, because these voxels decided. So while I was paying attention and getting tunnel vision down here, like a child, these voxels rotated down to engage the ships on Delta and make sure the ANS could maintain their capture. And then uh, the star team and Dashort came up here and capped Charlie and are backing off and getting behind cover. Out of vision of these voxels. A very good play out of the OSP team. And I think a good play out of the ANS team too. Challenging Delta was a good idea. And they were able to cap it and maintain it. And I think they're going to get these two Ocellos in addition to the uh, shuttle team over here. The voxels pulling back might have been a little too defensive. But. Overall, it's going to allow the ANS to do more damage than they otherwise would have been able to because they can have a fleet advantage versus these Ocellos, and they don't have a fleet disadvantage against this team up here with these Ocellos. Piranha going under those reins. Missing abysmally. Are those... Okay, I thought those were Piranha with... Closing maneuvers, no, but it's torpedoes with closing maneuvers. It's gonna finish off his reins mostly, but that's a, that's a good way to have your torpedoes miss. I don't really have the maneuverability for that. Unfortunately, as Dashboard is discovering, uh, one rail and two four fifties do not match up to well this. That's a, that's a lot of 450s. That's one double barrel and three triple barrels. And then Ocello's just got two triple, two double barrels. I think a mine just hit this guy. Over here, the debut cross. So much for subtlety, I think, was in the last game. It's not going up, so that doesn't really matter, actually. It wasn't in the last recording that anybody watched. Only I had to suffer through that, don't worry. A few more torpedoes going into this Ryan's, Ryan's worth its weight in gold and eating munitions. Colossal waste. He's dead, though. He's got more than I was expecting. It's quite a few. 
and these rocket shuttles just sitting back here just waiting to pounce on someone but I don't think that opportunity is ever going to come and Solomon's rotating over to Delta side means he's not going to be trying to contest Bravo and these Ocellos in big big trouble big trouble right here in River City Got the 450 from the Solomon firing. Got the voxels trying to get an angle. And not succeeding. But after all the damage these have taken, taken even more from the immense firepower of this gun, Solomon is a big problem. Okay, there's a gunfire coming out of those voxels. Oh, it's coming out of the Axford. So that's even more dangerous because those are also going to be 450s. Thing pretty much dead on its feet. Can still fire, but isn't going to be going anywhere fast. And uh, it's not going to be too much longer before it's not even going anywhere slow. This player hasn't been angling his armor at all, which is unfortunate. You really need that if you're going to be using the cells as frontline ships. Alright, let's, let's not get stuck down here again. Let's make sure we keep an eye on everything. That's kind of my job. Keep an eye on everything. Alright, we got the right hand down here getting bombed by uh, a pair of bulkers. Which means now the other voxels are hanging back a little bit. Presumably they're too damaged. To be moving quickly. Yeah, speaking of this thing's about to be too damaged to be going anywhere. It's breaking now, and it's probably going to be backing off, but that's, uh, it's too late for that. It's far too late for that. Can't really call it either way yet. Most P teams in the lead, points wise and cap wise. About to be cap wise again, I should say. Uh, militarily, it's pretty break even, so anything could happen at this point. It's terminal maneuvers, oh boy. Good angling on those torpedoes. That's, well, that might have done it. Extremely good shot on those torpedoes. That angling prevented the. Solomon's point defense from engaging very effectively, causing immense damage to his rear sector. Look at that. Look at all the yellows and oranges and reds back there. Dipping up undercover very quickly. Oh, there goes a sprint line. Bonk. What? It missed. How does a sprint mine miss? I didn't know mines could miss. I didn't know mines could miss. Huh. Today I learned. We're really getting such a slow target. Oh no. Rocket shuttle it's getting in here. The voxels are trying desperately to kill it. But this rocket shuttle is probably going to get off its entire payload into this Solomon. Absolutely catastrophic. Giving out so much more damage on the midsection of this ship. Rocket shuttle, of course, going to die for it. Voxels have switched fire to the shuttle that hasn't fired its payload yet. Good call out of that voxel player, but I don't think it's going to be enough. It's not. RPF going to be able to blow up some of these rockets as they're going in. But still a connect. Might be more coming later. Or not. Yeah, looking like not. An explosion on Delta. It's almost taking an Echo. 
Oh, this should just be... Alright, who... I guess one of the scouts came over here and capped it. The OSP at some point, because this is definitely the NAMS natural. Well, the whole team over on the dagger side of things. I guess it makes sense. For a scout to come over here and cap it, but this uh, Quiz Quiz's ship has counter capped. Solomon trying desperately to stay out of combat long enough to repair and to not get rocketed, but I don't think he's going to have much luck. At least on the repairing front. Getting shot at by these 450s. Lower Cellos aren't dead. More sprint lines being laid, interestingly. But they're in a very bad shape. Okay, that one's fine, and this one's pretty toasted. Its guns are online and not damaged. Or not disrupted, I should say. But it's barely moving. Oh, there's some rockets coming out of the mine ship. Just laid a few retreating mines, but I don't think those are going to help that much. A couple of Type 3s. This thing is dead. Yeah, that's toast. Right hand coming in, but the left hand was up by itself, so the Voxel PD net just wasn't able to save it. This guy right here is the MVP. No question. Who are you? Cheetahs never win. MVP. Dropped a bunch of damage on the back end of Solomon, which completely disrupted their formation. Killed a voxel. Bonk. Yeah, there goes that with the sprinter mine. And it's just generally been a menace dealing damage. <laughs> Uh, King of these Ocellas has been doing pretty well, too. This ship is uh, just sort of hanging out on the top of the map, not really doing that much. It's unfortunate. This ship, however, is definitely fighting and getting owned. Or, uh, I guess right now, just sort of chilling. Hmm. Oh, Cheetahs is also the owner of all the rocket shuttles. Which has done an insane amount of damage to the ANS team. Is he rocketing? Yep. A sprinter. Finally taking down the W Cross with uh, with rockets. Spent so many rockets on this poor little ship. This Solomon is out of there. He does not want to be here anymore. Unfortunately, he's going to be eating some more 450 fire on his starboard side. So, certainly not escaping. By any stretch of the imagination. Oh, I see. Nice. It's gonna capture Echo. The voxel gonna get taken down to missiles. Couple more torpedoes gone into the already dead ship. That has life potted as well, by the way. So it's definitely clearly dead. Might have been trying to send him into the right hand, actually. Send him into the left. Doesn't matter, right hand's dead, too. I think at this point it's pretty safe to call it for the OSP.
his team got a kind of hard carried by Cheetahs never win. I mean, everybody participated, of course, but this fool annihilated Philip Tank's fleet. Uh, did really strong against Gallenrog's fleet. And, uh, yeah. It's a great way to stay in shape. I don't think he interacted with the other two fleets almost at all. This is on top, so now it's gonna get gunned down by these starships. Up here. They've also just been dealing out the damage. Nothing as uh, spectacular as a whole bunch of missiles slamming into something and blowing it up. But gun damage is gun damage, and it does add up. Dillmanster charging. And his Axford boldly, bravely, alone to Charlie Point. To cap it for his people. Look at him go. True American hero. Oh, there goes Yellen Rog. Anything interesting going on anywhere else? Swift shooting at the uh, Solomon and Voxel that are over here. I don't think that's a super big deal though. That's Charlie capped. Very nice. Solomon eating damage, not even turning to fire. Where are these going? Presumably the top Axford. Dash is going to be able to capture Echo. Which would be good. The OSP team. I don't think they need it. I think they can just win off two caps. That was going to get taken out. Yeah. Not enough to get through Bastions, that's for sure. Uh, stone walls. What is this Solomon doing? He's just leaving. He's not even trying to turn to fire at anyone. He's just out of here. Just flying up to the top of the map. At a whopping brisk walk. Ah, uh, there's a the gunfire. sure how fast exactly meters per second is and uh, freedoms per fortnight but imagine it's not too terribly fast well no because a meter is a yard more or less so it's a good pace it's a good pace it's like a it's a heavy jog or a light run. Whatever way you wanna you wanna phrase it. Sorry if I'm just yammering, I'm kinda kinda waiting for the AAR at this point. It's pretty clear the OSP's gonna win, the ANS team's just sorta flopping around in the middle of the map, getting annihilated from all sides. The ticker's going up. OSP's capping points. It was a pretty even match overall. And you can't tell that by looking at the the damage output. I mean skill wise. Some good plays, some bad plays at everyone. It's 
some very confusing plays out of this battleship player. Pushing forward, followed by the fly up, and I think, I don't think he was target firing anything during this rise. It was just sort of, oh my god, here we go. Everything's good if you know how to play. You play cleverly. Like uh, the guy who was just like, OSP seems pretty strong right now. Wasn't even using any OSP specific stuff. Well, no, he was using the rockets. But his most efficacy came out of these just normal ass torpedoes. I got some good damage out of the rockets too. Hey, nice. King getting a little love. He didn't do that much damage, but he was an excellent distraction. I mean, he did kill this guy pretty much by himself. Yeah, not a lot of damage coming out of those voxels. And not enough damage coming out of that Solomon. Yeah, just no one really performed outstandingly on the ANS team, which is unfortunate. Twenty nine thousand damage out of a friggin' monitor is awesome. It's crazy, man, it's crazy. I like it. I like it a lot, especially since a lot of those came out of just normal old torpedoes. Excellent. Dashboard apparently doing the zombie strats. I didn't know you could do that with Bulkers. And I can do them with Solomons and uh, Axfords. But very impressed if you managed to pull that off with Bulkers. That is not easy. Those usually don't have enough repair teams or hard points to make that viable. But good job. And Star Bomber, as previously said, just keep getting damage down the field not a whole lot but enough to be a menace to be oppressive good game uh really average game nothing too crazy happened but it was uh, still solid that's the video i'll see you next time